Hey, this is Daisy, and we'll be doing um, polar bear nails today. So as always, like, just start with the base coat, uh, but here I'm just doing it on fake nails. So I just started with Blue Wants to Be a Millionaire from the Fast Dry line of Wet n Wild. Just do a couple coats of that until you got a nice color. It took me about two to three coats. Next, just grab whatever white you have. I'm using Snow Me White from Sinful Colors. And on your middle nail, you can draw the polar bear face, while on the other four nails, you draw their paws, so it kind of looks like the polar bear is on its back with its paws towards you. So on the polar bear face nail, just do one big circle in the middle, and then kind of two smaller circles for, for its ears. So I'm just trying to get as even of a circle as I can to try to get the face. So just go over it a few times with your dotting tool if you need to or any other tool that you have to do nail art. Make sure you fill it in. And then, and then just start working on the ears from there. The ears should be a little bit more oval than circle just so they kind of look like they're pointing out and then we're also going to fill them in later so that will help. Now for the paw nails just do one big circle in the middle probably a little bit smaller than the face and then just fill that in as well. Once again trying to get a nice circle shape. <laughs> And then for this one, you're going to do three circles on top so they can kind of be the pads of the polar bear's foot. And try to get those a little bit bigger so that they kind of feel like they're, so they kind of look like they're fitting into place. And they're touching each other, so just keep making them bigger. You can see I'm trying to get them to touch each other on the sides. We'll also fill this in later so it'll look like the actual paw print inside of this white foot. And yeah, I had some lighting problems, but I'm going to work on that. So next, just grab whatever black polish you have. I'm using the brand NK and just their black polish. Any black will do. You could even use a black striper if you like. Uh, we're just going to do an oval at the bottom of the face for the polar bear's nose. Just make sure you do a nice shaped oval once again. It's going to be a pretty big nose, so I think it looks cuter like that. Next, with your dotting tool, um, just try to do circles inside the polar bear's ears just to kind of look like the inside of the ears. And then uh, with your dotting tool again, or a striper if you want, just do two little black dots above the nose for the polar bear's eyes. And that's, you're basically done with the polar bear's face. Now moving on to the polar bear's foot or paw, um, just do one big circle in the biggest circle that you drew before, just kind of like doing the inside of it, and fill that in. And then do three smaller circles, each filling in to those bigger white circles that you did earlier. You could always just stop here, but my roommate actually suggested I kind of do little claws on the polar bear. So with the black striper, I'm just using the Kiss uh, black striper. Um, just draw really thin little triangles that kind of connect to the circles. Just how I'm showing you. And they kind of just look like little claws coming out of the circle. So they're kind of cute, a little bit different than your regular paw print. 
So one important tip here is to try to do the claw as straight as you can. So like point it up. This one claw kind of came out wonky looking to the side. So that's not the best one. But uh, after this, I'll show you one that I did earlier that I think looks a little bit better. So just do it on all three. Just making it thin and then on the sides kind of like <clears throat> thicker so it kind of goes around the circle. It kind of looks like it's part of the, the bottom circle. And that's basically it. So here's just one that I did er earlier that I think looks a little better. But after this, just put a top coat on it and you're done.